Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Van Tool, and I'll be your instructor for Math 2R03, The Theory of Linear Algebra. So once again, we are stuck online. Uh, I'm putting together these series of little videos here to help you get through the material for the first four weeks, and hopefully we don't go beyond that. Uh, I look forward to being with you on this course over the next couple of weeks, and I'll see you online at the beginning of the semester. See you. Hello and welcome to Math 2R03, The Theory of Linear Algebra. In these two short videos, I just want to walk you through where you'll be able to find all the material for the course, especially since we will be online for the first four weeks. And we will continue to use this system if we happen to stay online after February the 7th. So I'm starting at where you'll be able to find most of the material, which is Avenue to Learn. As Many of you are well aware this is McMaster's main learning management system. And I, I will click down to our course. So you, of course you will log in using your regular Mac ID and password. So we'll give it a second to load up. And you'll scroll down, of course, make sure that you're under winter 2022. I seem to be under winter 2021. So let me uh, make sure I'm in the right year. Okay, so winter 2022. And you should be able to find Math 2R03, The Theory of Linear Algebra. There's a picture of the textbook there. Um, you probably won't see as many classes as mine. I have access to many other classes. So go ahead and click on Math 2R03, The Theory of Linear Algebra. And the, the first thing that I'll do is I'm actually gonna change it so that I'll view it as a student. And so uh, as an instructor, I can see the uh, different form of uh, avenue to learn. Okay, so here we are, the landing page for Math 2R03, the theory of linear algebra. And on the front page, of course, we have our announcements uh, over here. And on the right-hand side, we have a list of calendars, which will, for this course, include all the, the due dates for the various homework assignments and midterms. I will use the announcement section, of course, to uh, give any important announcements for the course or any other announcements relevant uh, either to you as a math student or um, more broadly information related to the university. So we, that is kind of the page that you're gonna land on. Uh, you're probably comfortable with Avenue to Learn. You notice that there's a bunch of other options on here. I won't be using the assessment tab. We won't be storing any grade information on Avenue to Learn, and I won't be using the resource tab. So you, you can look under there, but uh, I won't actually be uh, using them. Uh, the one thing I will be using under the communication tab is I have set up a discussion board so I'll bring that up here. And a discussion board, I've set up three different topics. And if you have any particular questions, you can post into the discussion board. So th there's no participation marks or anything like that. You can just go and just, if you have a problem or you have a question, and you can either send me an email or you can post it in the discussion board. The, the idea is the TAs and myself will be reviewing the discussion board from time to time and other students and hopefully everybody can help each other with a response to the question. And I will make a remark that I've also set up a Discord server, which I'll show you uh, in the, the next video, um, but you could also use that as well to uh, ask questions and look for information. So I've divided the discussion board into three topics, anything about Math 2R03, questions about homework, or just anything else that might be related or maybe unrelated, okay? So assessments we won't be using, resources we won't be using, communications we'll just be using this discussion board option. Oh, uh, better go to the back of the top. So the, the main tab that you wanna uh, use is the content tab. And the content tab is, and I'll walk you through how it's laid out, is um, will be kind of where you will find all of your information, okay? So let's just quickly go through all of it. So I've already have overview open. Uh, so overview is where you're going to find the course outline. So take a minute, you know, in the next week or two to kind of read through this carefully. Um, it, 
I've tried to update it to the most recent version, which would be today, January 7th, when I made this video, uh, to take into consideration the fact that we've moved online. Okay, And there's also a class web page, which I'll explain in, in the second part of this video. I'm not using the bookmark section here, so that you'll never see anything here. And in the course schedule, you will be able to find the list of all the deadlines relevant to the course. So if you click full schedule already, you can see the due dates for the various homework assignments. Okay, so let's kind of keep working our way down through the other items under the content menu. I like to, here, here table of contents just simply is a summary of everything below it. Okay, so you can see everything at one time. So it's better to we go through it kind of uh, step by step. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the live class sessions, and this is probably the, the most important part of this video, which is the, how the course will be run at least during the first four weeks. Okay, now as many of you know, this course is going to be run online uh, at least until February seventh. So during that time, the course will be run mostly asynchronous. We'll be using videos of the lectures and the videos you will be watching at your own time. Now, there is a synchronous component and the way that I've broken up the week is as follows. Okay, Our first lecture of the week is the Tuesday and on that day I will be online and I will give kind of a short little lecture which will kind of summarize what happened in the past week preview the current week's material and then answer any questions okay and this is the zoom link to get into the first week uh, first lecture okay the second lecture of the week there will be no formal um, synchronous component uh, I don't want to overload you with both asynchronous and synchronous materials so you should treat your Thursdays as a chance to watch the videos and work on your homework okay you have an hour blocked off because of that's in your schedule so that's how you can use that time in addition, I will still be available to answer uh, questions if you want to ask me things one on one. So send me an email and then we can set up uh, a Zoom link. And finally, the third lecture of the week, which is the Friday afternoon, is I'll just have a drop in office hour. So you don't have to make an appointment. I'll just log in to Zoom and you can just drop in and I'll answer any questions, okay? And there will be no formal lecture involved. And you could, again, also use that time to catch up on your videos, which I'll get to in a minute, okay? Uh, so here is the Zoom link. We'll start using it on the Tuesday. Make sure you read the little video, or read the little sheet here about how to join a secure McMaster Zoom meeting. So I've made these rooms secure so that you can only log in using your McMaster ID. Okay, and that's to stop kind of Zoom bombers and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, so that's kind of be kind of how the live class sessions will go. The tutorial sessions will be done online, at least until um, February 7th. They don't actually start till the second week of class. Um, and these are the times. And we don't have links yet to the tutorials because we don't actually, the tutorial, yeah, sorry, the TA has only just been hired, so I need to talk to them and get everything all set up. Okay, so that's where you'll find the links to the tutorial session. Here you can find a link to the textbook. We'll be using this textbook right here, Linear Algebra Done Right by Sheldon Axler. Uh, you can buy a copy of this from the library, uh, from the bookstore, uh, but you, you can actually download a free copy through the McMaster Library. So you can use this link right here. And I should mention that I think Axler has a very nice website to accompany the uh, textbook. And so he has his own videos to go along with the material. So you could, should also take a, take a look at this as your source of, uh, as an extra reference. Okay. Okay. Here we have a section on proof writing resources. So as I'll mention in the first lecture, uh, there's kind of like the main goal in this course is to learn about um, the theory of linear algebra. So we want to learn you know, the material you would have learned in Math 1B and maybe some of you have learned in 2LA3. What we want to do is we really want to understand the proofs. And not only that, we want to be able to improve in it and write our own proofs using linear algebra. So take a look at these three documents. Um, one of them is one I wrote about how to write proofs. Another one is about John Lee, who wrote a, a nice paper about how to write proofs. And here is a book that you can get through the library. 
um, which is called mathematical writing. Okay, and if you really want to improve your mathematical writing, this is a good reference for this. Here we have a link next for homework and midterm solutions. Uh, of course, you haven't done any homework yet or midterm, so uh, there's nothing to see here right now. And then I have a breakdown of what you'll be doing for the first four weeks, okay? And let me show you kind of how each week is structured, okay? So for each week, I've divided it up into three things, something you need to read, something you need to watch, and something you need to do. So for example, in your first week, you should read sections 1A, 1B, and 1C of the textbook. You should watch the first three lectures, which I'll show you in a second, where you can get those. And then what should you do? So for your first week, you should submit homework zero on CrowdMark, and I'll show you CrowdMark in a moment. You should start working on your next homework assignment, which is due next week, Saturday. And there's some suggested practice questions. Okay, so every week there's something to read, something to watch, and something to do. Okay, and if you can keep up with the weekly list, you'll you should be fine. Okay, and as you'll see under week one, I have a, a link to the video for the lecture and the notes. So when you click on say lecture one, it will take you to a YouTube channel that I have set up. And as it loads up. And what you get is a playlist of two, to usually three to four lectures uh, parts, each part about you know eight to ten minutes long, and you watch all the parts, and that will give you the lecture based on the uh, on the corresponding uh, material. And each of these lectures, you'll see me write out my notes. And if you go back, if we go back here, you can also see after you watch the video, you can actually also get a copy of the lecture notes that I generated. So if I click on lecture one notes, it will take me to the the notes for this class. So there are the notes. Okay, so you have both me talking about the material and you have my lecture notes. Okay, and so at the bottom here, you'll have you'll see the homework. And the homework part here, uh, you can click on the homework, but I will go into that in more detail into the, into the next video about the other resources that we can use. So for now, going back up, just to summarize, we have our Theory of Linear Algebra Avenue to Learn page. We have our landing page right here. And your ring, we'll be using communication and content. The content is where you will find all of the stuff that you will need for this course. So in particular, you will need the link to the live class session, and then you can see what you will need to do for each week. So I'll pause this part of the video, and then in the second part, we'll talk about a little bit more about the homework and the uh, other ways of getting help through Discord and through the class webpage.